All right, we're over here at uh, gotomath.com. We're doing some calculus. We're under the section of rules of differentiation. So we're going through all the rules and working through all the functions that you might see. And this particular trig function here is what we're looking at. We want to find the derivative. In other words, we want to find y prime. And this is the section here that we're in. There's like 12 problems or something that uh, probably randomly come up when you click on that button. Let's move over, clear that out. I always forget to clear that out. All right. We have y is equal to 2 times sine, actually, making sure this was the same problem, um, 6x to the fifth plus 6. Now in the previous section you should not leave that section, that's button 5, until you have all those memorized. Okay, It's important because now we're going to use that to take the derivative of these more complex ones. Alright, now <clears throat> we remember what the derivative of sine is, right? So this is just a coefficient so we rewrite the coefficient and the derivative of sine is cosine so we're gonna write cosine here we must rewrite everything in parentheses and then we take the derivative of the inside and chain it out so I'm going to take the derivative of this inside and bring it out. So the derivative of 6x to the 5th is 30x to the 4th. Now remember, you take the 5, bring it out front, and 6 times 5 is 30, and then we subtract 1 from the exponent. The derivative of a constant is 0, so that's the reason nothing else is written over here. Now what we'll want to do is kind of, we'll take this stuff and bring it out front. So 2 times 30 is 60. x to the 4th times cosine of 6x to the 5th plus 6. And there you go. There's the derivative. So remember what was key here was is you have to know what the derivative of sine x is. The derivative of sine x right, is cosine x. So in the previous section, button 5, you've got to go through those and make sure you know every single one of them before you really come over here to this section. All right. So let's move over. Let's see what this says. 60x to the 4th cosine of x to the 5th plus 6 and yeah, 60x to the 4th, there it is. All right. So make sure you go into this section here and, uh, and click on that and uh, practice these. But remember, you don't need to leave 5 until you have all those guys until you can click through every one of them and know the answer real fast each one of them before you move over to uh, move over into this section here. Alright. And if this is still up, you can always, uh, let's hit refresh here. If it'll refresh. Oh, you can leave me a message. Um, you might even be able to chat with me live on here. Alright. So remember, all this is taking place here at gotomath.com. You want to make sure up in your web browser that's exactly what this says. All right, so come on over and uh, practice your calculus. And um, I promise if you start here, work your way through, you'll have a much better understanding of calculus. And uh, especially if you do this before you even take a calculus class, you should be able to whiz right on through your calculus class. All right.